Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. In this video, I'm going to be telling you what I think are the best and the most essential accessories for the GoPro Hero 1, 2, 3, and 3 Plus cameras of all the editions, black, silver, white, you know it. Anyways, let's get right to it. It's going to be a long video, so strap in, hold on tight. Oh, and by the way, guys, links to all the products I mentioned in the video are down below, down there, so you can find them there. Okay, the first product that I want to talk about is the Joby Tripod. Now it's a flexible tripod, allows you to bend it in all shapes. You can wrap it around something, you know, and mount your camera there. It runs for about $38, and honestly guys, this is, if you're only gonna buy one accessory that I mentioned, definitely buy this. It is so versatile, and you can just come up with so many uses for it. For example, you know, you can film with your camera on it like this, and it'll stabilize it a little bit, or you know, you can put it like this, and use it like to extend a little bit, like kind of like a like extension pole, you know, or just it can be a tripod like this, or you can wrap it around something. Honestly, it's endless. I keep coming up with new uses for it every day, basically. Not literally every day, but yeah. Now, I don't want to guarantee that you're going to love this product, but I'm going to say it's pretty certain that you're going to definitely thank me for suggesting this, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not going to guarantee it. Don't sue me, guys. <laughs> Disclaimer. Da -da -da -da. You get it. The next product I want to talk about is this case right here. Now, if you're buying a camera that costs like $200 to $400, you obviously want to protect it. And this case does a pretty good job. It's the POV case, and it runs around $40. You can get different colors, different sizes, but this is, I think, the medium version. And it's not very roomy, but it's definitely, it's compact, which is nice. And it protects your essential stuff like your mounts, your back, you know, your different case, your batteries, your LCD backpack, your covers all the different things that you need for your camera itself not the tripods not the poles not the you know all those little bigger things but this is a very compact setup for just putting all your essential GoPro stuff in here and carrying it around you can drop it won't break stuff inside and yeah forty dollars is a pretty good deal there are some other cases out but this is personally the one that I really like and I would recommend the next product I want to talk about are some backup batteries that I purchased they're from Wasabi and if you've ever bought any backup batteries for a camera, you've probably heard of this company. They're pretty well known. They make a ton of different stuff from DSLR batteries to camcorder batteries to little point and shoot batteries to, I think, cell phone batteries and stuff like that. Very reliable. It is a very good deal also because you can pay like $23 and get two of these, a charger. And if you were buying a GoPro product, you'd pay $18 for just a single battery. So yeah, I'd... I mean, weigh your options, but personally, I think two batteries, even if they're not as good as the GoPro battery, are definitely worth it, and it's a good deal. So, Wasabi batteries. Now, the next product I want to talk about is a pretty cool product. It's by this company called Ram, and it allows you to mount your camera to a window or any really smooth surface via this suction cup it has here. Now, it's pretty cool. I love it for doing time lapses down the road. You know, put it on your windshield and put your camera up there on a time lapse for like every five to 10 seconds, two seconds maybe if you're going a little faster, and it just snaps away and this holds it nice and still. You can also use it, what else have I used it for? I think I've used it um, just to film out windows, take pictures, anywhere that you can mount a suction cup, you can mount your camera. It's stainless steel or some type of steel, I don't know. Very sturdily built, it runs around $35, a good deal even though it's not the GoPro brand one yeah, I think it's a little more stable and you can also use it for your DSLR which is an added bonus now the next product which is pretty important even though it's very small is the tripod mount this is important because if you want to use the Gorilla Pod or the last product the suction cup mount you need this to mount your GoPro camera to it see it just attaches your GoPro like everything else and then it screws into the bottom the four quarter inch mount right there and it only is five dollars. You can get another version of this for ten dollars, but this honestly does everything you need, and it's five bucks. So it's a quick thing to pick up, and it allows you to attach your GoPro to any tripod or other camera mounting option. Now the next product I want to talk about is the GoPro backpack LCD touch thing, which allows you to view what the GoPro sees and also mess around with the settings. Yes, I know the GoPro has Wi-Fi, and you can use your smartphone, but honestly, it is kind of a hassle and. You know, you're dropping stuff everywhere. It's too much for me. So I went ahead and purchased this. It runs $80, though, so a little expensive. And one thing to note is if you do have the 3 Plus camera like I have, the LCD backpack will work. However, the backs that come that allow you to use this with the waterproof housing actually don't work yet on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus smaller housing. 
So I don't know, maybe email the GoPro support, see if they fixed it. They are working on an update. And your other option, if you want to buy it now, is to either use the camera without the waterproof housing or buy the slightly bigger three housing, as that will accommodate this backpack thing. The next product I have here is called the Bobber, and it's by a company called GoPole. Not GoPro, GoPole. Yeah, they obviously was some clever marketing there. This is a very cool thing for if you're into snorkeling, swimming, any, anything in the water really, and you don't want your camera sinking to the bottom because not many people want that, especially if it's like 30 feet deep or something. Yeah, you don't want that. So this is cool. I used it recently when snorkeling. It's very nice. It's visible if you drop it. It does have a wrist strap as well, so you can attach to your wrist so it won't float off. And yeah, it's cool for just, you know, jumping in the water, taking a selfie or filming people. You can even let it float upside down and film you as an added bonus. So it runs for about $30 as well. And it's a good thing to have because it protects your camera from glug, 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 sinking to the bottom. So check it out. Now this next product I have is a backup battery by a company called Anchor. Now it's not really a very necessary thing if you're just mainly shooting video and pictures, but if you take time lapses longer than the built-in battery allows, this is a cool thing to have because you can plug it into your camera actually and it will give you like nine hours of extra runtime at least. Actually, I haven't gone over what this thing can do yet because it has so much capacity in it, you know. I, I've only gone like five hours and it's still been like fully charged. So it, I've never hit the limit of this thing basically. It runs you about $35 and if you do like taking time lapses or just use your camera a lot on the go and you don't have time to charge it, I definitely look into this because it is a cool investment and allows you to charge your camera and also really anything that has a USB charger while you're on the go. Now here the next product I have is by GoPro. It's called the Frame and you've probably heard of it. It's just a cool product to have if you want to use your camera outside of the waterproof housing. Like if you want to capture better audio or you want a little slightly smaller mount or the camera does run kind of hot when it's in the waterproof housing so this will allow it to cool down if you're taking like longer time lapses or 4K video, stuff like that. Basically, if you want to get better audio or need a smaller mount or want to use your backpack here and you're not going to get the camera wet and don't care about it like breaking, this is the thing to go with. Now the next product I have here is by GoPro and will run you about $10. It is the head mount and guess what, it allows you to mount the camera on your head. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I've used this to film when I was swimming in the water or just running around and, you know, wanted that first person view of like you're in a video game, you know, like the balance is bad, but modern combat, you know, or modern warfare, COD, you know, you get the idea. If you really think you need it, it's a pretty cheap or you can pick up the updated version for, I think, $19. The next thing is another type of body mount. It is the chest mount. Now this one here actually isn't by GoPro, it's by a company called Velocity Clip. They're a small little company, probably haven't heard of them before. But this one will run you about $30. And so far it's honestly I think a little better than the GoPro product because it sits up a little higher on your chest. As you can see right here, this one will sit up here and the GoPro one is usually actually around your stomach which can be a little inconvenient in certain situations. And it also gives you a better angle as far as where your arms are, you know. It will give you a better angle. And it's stable, sturdy. Yeah, I check this product out. Also check out the other stuff by Velocity Clip. They're a pretty cool company just starting up. Support them, guys. I'm not getting paid by them or anything, but I just think they're a cool company. The next product we have is only part of the larger kit that it came in, but this is a lens for the camera, and it came in the Lens and Doors Kit by GoPro. This will cost you around $20, but what you get in it is this lens, which goes over your camera if you take it out of the waterproof housing, and it also gives you some backup doors, you know, like the camera battery door and the plug-in, I don't know what you'd call that, door. So in case you lose it, you can just replace it and you don't have to find some duct tape and put it over or something like that. Or you could just do that DIY, guys, you know, that's the way to go. Anyways, yeah, $20 for this kit. It's a good bundle of stuff. I check it out. It's definitely useful to have backup stuff and also to protect your lens with this or another lens cap. And the last product I have here is a very tiny thing, which looks like just a piece of paper or something. It's actually pretty important, though. When you go snorkeling or when you're swimming in the water or even when you're, like, snowboarding or something like that, any place where there's moisture, it is a good thing to have these anti-fog inserts in your camera as they stop your lens from fogging up and honestly ruining your picture, pretty much, you know. I mean, it might be salvageable, but it degrades the quality, definitely. These are really cheap, actually, and these ones, which are by the Accessory Pro, Brand me for less than $10 for eight of them, 
which you can use over and over again just by rebaking them in the oven. And though I hadn't actually used my GoPro underwater before without them, I can honestly say that with these in, nothing, there was no fogging, no... Yeah, they did their job, basically, is what I can say. And GoPro does make their own version of these, but these were 9 bucks, and I was like, yeah, they, they work. They're not in a pretty case or anything, but they work, and they do their job, and they're reusable. And that's all you can ask for in a product, really. And they're cheap. Now, that's all the products that I have now and I've purchased. However, if you want to stay up to date with new GoPro products or new accessories, subscribe there. I know one thing that I definitely want to get now after going on my vacation is a go pole, like one of those long extension poles so you can get that yeah man view and out far away or you can also get stuff that's a little further away that you can't quite reach and you can get your camera out there and film it close up. So yeah, subscribe, like, comments down below, uh, ask me questions guys, I love answering your questions on Facebook and Twitter if you need to get to me a little quicker, I'll answer those a little faster. And yeah, use the links guys that actually, if you don't know, that helps me through Amazon Associates. I get a little bit of what you spend and you know, it helps me do the show, helps me do giveaways and helps me, you know, feed myself. I'm, not, I'm, I'm blessed so I don't have to struggle to get food and honestly, but it, it helps me just, you know, get a little return for what I, all the work I do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good day. I hope you've been helped by this video and that's about it. So peace out. I'm going to go fly home.